We're here today to look at the new bit error rate capability in the Roden Schwartz FSV signal analyzer. It's part of the K70 vector signal analyzer option. So on the screen here we have um, a GSM signal as we can see that's uh, that's bursting as we, as we would say and we can switch quickly into the vector signal analyzer software so we can get a demodulation of that signal we can see the constellation diagram and some results including an EVM there of about 0.29 percent so to do a bit error rate measurement the first thing we need to do is to record a reference signal which has a uh, some data in that, that so that we can actually do the comparison or a bit error rate calculation there's a little utility that we run directly on the analyzer to capture that sequence once we save that sequence out we can then load that into the vector signal analyzer software using the modulation signal description tab in the FSV and we just enable uh, known data and then we need to load the data file. Once we've done that we, have, we just need to enable the bit error rate measurement and to do that we go to demodulation under the settings overview tab and we have a number of points there, estimation, points per symbol, uh, coarse synchronization and fine synchronization. The fine synchronization is an interesting uh, topic as it allows us to use the known data to demodulate a very bad signal, even signals up to 100% EVM. So that's enabled by default when the file is loaded and then we just need to display the result on screen from there. So we're just going to set up a split screen uh, setup here using two screens so that we have a bit error rate result and a constellation diagram. Okay, so now we can see the constellation and we can see our bit error rate result and currently we, we have zero bit errors. So as we're generating bit errors, we have uh, four columns that gives us current, uh, minimum, maximum and uh, cumulative results. In the rows, we can see a uh, total number of errors that have been calculated and also the total number of bits that have been captured by the analyzer software. 